an, a certain adventurer named David de Rothschild came up. Uh, and uh, I didn't realize this when I posted the article, but he is actually the number one hottest green guy on the planet, gay green guy on the planet. Well, gay is just an assumption. Is he? I don't know. They try to show him around. Who is David de Rothschild dating? But what's really interesting is that uh, David de Rothschild, and I would like to thank Alex, who's really good at twinning for this, uh, he looks a heck of a lot like the once and future king from Lord of the Rings. So I wonder if there's something going on there. We are dispelling the bull crap, okay, at least where I'm, tr I'm trying. And I've talked about how in this uh, alternative truth movement, uh, okay, there's the bull crap you listen to before you became, uh, quote unquote, awake, as you were programmed to by the Matrix in 1999. And Fight Club, of course, as well. And I've talked about that on several occasions. So uh, after you became awake and started going out on the internet and scouring the net for all this information, there was a lot of information conveniently waiting for you. And see, and there's like a, a lot of different set levels of awakeness, all right? There's the, oh, I believe the media, you know, the sheeple that believe the uh, consensus transmedia. Then there's the uh, second level, which is the, uh, the, uh, the BS people that believe the nonsense that comes out of uh, Alex Jones and the rest of the fear mongers out there. Uh, you know, Bill Deagle's uh, famed uh, cybernetically ad enhanced attack baboons. So then you get like the next level, which is like that new agey kumbaya, we all are one, we're reflections of ourselves in the mirror, all that crap, okay? And then there's, uh, there's the synchromistic crap, there's the alternative to the alternative crap, and it's like a lot of crap, because what a lot of people are doing is, is they're regurgitating a lot of information. And I'm going to come up with a couple of examples in the show, but I want to take, get rid of one right, or uh, get rid of one. Uh, put one out on the table right now. What does that mean? I'm, I'm going to address one right now. I'm going to put a dress on it. <laughs> uh, the, the top 25. By the way, check out that list, the top 25 hottest gays in green. All right? And you tell me if there, any of those guys look heterosexual. Any of them. Just, uh, just ask me if they don't look like they're all effeminated. Or just ask me. Just, you know, tell me. Tell me if not. So anyway, what happens is there's all this information, and all this information has a nexus point. And we've talked about that, uh, I guess, last week or the week before. I talked about the uh, nonsense about the, the Hashasin sect. And, you know, like, again, a good story. The nonsense about how the Rothschilds took over the stock market. Uh, the, the Hollywood, Holly Tree nonsense. And what happens is, again, when people got into this information, they're like, oh, wow, I was asleep for so long. And they grab onto that information because it's good stories and it's put out as good stories to grab your attention. And then people regurgitate this nonsense without ever actually looking deeper into this. And it becomes sort of common knowledge, like in a Wiki, you know, truth or Wikipedia uh, collection of uh, this is the stuff that's now true. All right. So I think I've dispelled a lot of that nonsense. And I, would, I want to address another part of this nonsense that I've heard people, including myself, address, okay, uh, or mention. And actually, I did it last week on the show. Uh, the whole thing about the Rothschilds being the red shield, because, you know, that's supposedly what it translates to, and it's got something to do with their connection to the royalty and how they were protected and how they built up their empire to overtake the world. All right. Again, you know, I keep showing how we got to look at words uh, in several ways, and there's a great example of that for the uh, new movie Pederast coming out. I'm sorry, did I say Pederast? I meant Red coming out with uh, all the famous Pederasts like Morgan Freeman and uh, Bruce Willis and a bunch of other clowns. But uh, anyway, they call it Red, but uh, they might as well call it Pederast. And this movie's coming out, and uh, what I'm trying to say is sometimes you need to look at words backwards and forwards or look at them uh, in several ways to try to figure out exactly what they mean. And if you look at the word Rothschild, all right, what, what does it translate to? What is it? Okay, just scramble the letters around. I'll give everybody just a second. What does it translate to? Okay, so the question is where does the uh, – what, what does Rothschild mean? What does it translate to? Ah, we got somebody in the chat room. Very good. Thor's child. Yes, Thor's child. Okay, 
they are the descendants of the gods. They believe so. Okay, it's part of that divine right to rule stuff that we've talked about. So, uh, yeah, Thor's child. Okay, that's what it is. It's not Red Shield. They want us to repeat that. That's why they put that out there in the truth movement because they want people going Red Shield this, Red Shield that. And, hey, look, I'm not saying I'm better than you. I was doing it last week. I mean, I was doing it to do a comedy skit, but I was still doing it. It's Thor's child, okay? Hmm, now that connects to that whole uh, divine right to rule and the one and future king. And uh, maybe it explains why this guy beat out that honey. You got to admit, Leonardo DiCaprio's a honey. <laughs> uh, for top green man. Okay, I mean, who is he? Nobody knew him. What's the most famous thing he's done? He's appeared on the Alex Jones show and uh, uh, had a little, uh, little uh, tiff with him, a little squabble. So, uh, yeah, that's what that is. It's Roth's child. So I'm not sure, you know, I can't, I'm not saying, you know, there's disinfo about, uh, I'm about, uh, whether or not him or King William, whatever. I'm, I'm not, I don't care. I really don't care. But that's what Roth's child is. It's Thor's child. Okay. They are the descendants of somebody. Uh, but it's interesting to note that Thor was not the main god. Okay. Uh, in the, uh, in the pantheon. According to the Norse mythology, there was Odin, okay? So if he's Thor's child, he's got a divine right to rule, but that's over us peasants. He's still just a general or an architect in the bigger scheme of things because there's those that are descended from Odin, if you look at that big picture. 